I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Elixir's Livebook is what Jupyter Notebook wishes it could be. I wanted to start playing around with computer vision, and the Hello World project in this space happens to be face detection. So let's walk through a face tracking example. To get started, I install a package called eVision, which is maintained by a wonderful Elixir dev named Coco. This library is an Elixir binding for the open source computer vision library called OpenCV. To start detecting faces, I'm going to create a video capture object. Then I grab the prepackaged OpenCV model for face detection. We get it for free. With this in place, we can grab a frame from the camera and do a little bit of resizing. In Livebook, things like images can be displayed inline without any effort. The image classifier I'm using doesn't need color details, so I'll transform the image to grayscale. And with this frame, it's time to run the classifier. The parameters and inner workings of this classifier are a bit complicated, so instead of learning how it works, I just did some trial and error and found values that work well for my lighting and my face. In this case, 1.8 and 4. If I run it, I can see that it detected a face at the X and Y coordinates 495 and 141, and with a width and height of 252 pixels. If I use the eVision rectangle method, I can superimpose these results over the original color image, and it found my face. Livebook doesn't limit you to a single output per code block, and it doesn't make you wait until the block finishes before showing that output. As a quick example, I set up a loop that increments a value from 0 to 10 every 100 milliseconds. By creating a frame and rendering it, I'm able to append values while the cell is running. So I'm going to give this a run. And there's my 0 through 10. And then afterwards, it replaces the content with done. And then the result of this statement was actually an OK. So this frame right here gets updated live while the cell is running. Let's take the same approach and apply it to face detection. To make this face detection live, I go through a loop and grab video frames, putting them into a Kino frame. So instead of just returning one result, I run Kino.frame.render and I can see my face being tracked in real time. This is possible thanks to Phoenix LiveView backed WebSockets built into Livebook. There's a whole bunch of communication going on behind the scenes to stream this output to my browser. One little enhancement that I was able to do is make it so that it will crop down to a 300 by 300 image tracking my face uh, so that I don't have to have that full image streaming down the entire time. Uh, this uses an OpenCV method called ROI or region of interest. And if I run it, I can move my face back and forth and it will keep that square region around my face uh, once it detects it. Hopefully, this has inspired something in you. Livebook allows for more interactive and real-time experimentation than Jupyter Notebooks, relying on the power of Elixir and Phoenix LiveView. It does all of this in a browser window, not needing to pop open a native view to perform computer vision tasks. If you want to run this code yourself, the notebook is available on GitHub with a link in the description. This has been Code and Stuff. Thanks for watching.